Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'd like to welcome you guys all to this audiovisual presentation of our Lions Leadership Program. Now, what is Lions? Lions is leaders in organized networking. Just to formally introduce myself, my name is Herbert R. Bacod. I am the founder and president of Leaders in Organized Networking. And again, I always believe the formula in having a successful life is simply having a consistent, successful day. This Lions Leadership Program that I will be uploading in YouTube is basically for everybody. Not just for my group or for my team, but it's for anybody that's aspiring to become successful in the industry. I'm willing to contribute my knowledge and experience in this industry to share to the many so that people can get organized and people could know more about network marketing. Now to introduce the eight pitfalls of networking. Ipapaliwanag natin sa mga viewers kung bakit yung mga tao bumabaksak sa negosyo natin sa multi-level marketing, aka known as networking. Now ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. The number one pitfall in networking is they don't take the business seriously. Hindi nila sineseryoso ang negosyo. Bakit? Kasi iniisip na small capital lang. Yung mga kaibigan at yung mga kamagana, tinitingnan yung company na napakaliit kasi it's related to networking. Yun nga, tinitingnan nga. Napakaliit lang ang business ng networking. Hindi nila kineconsider na ang business ng networking legitimate. Gusto kasi nila, malaki ang capital nila para maging legal kasi iniisip nila pag maliit ang capital, hindi legal. Gusto nila mas malaki ang capital. Number two, they have doubts. Nagdududa sila. Saan sila nagdududa? Kasi lack of knowledge eh. Hindi nila alam kung ano yung networking, kung paano ba mag-usap sa tao, kung paano magbenta ng products. Hindi nila, they don't know where to start. Takot sila may reject. Yung mga tao, sinasabi naman nila, hindi naman ako salesman. They don't like getting rejected. I mean, who likes getting rejected? Yung sa pagdududa, iniisip nila, if it's too good to be true, paminsan, it's a negative thing. Parang iniisip nga nila pag uh, negative, yung pa iniisip nila na positive thing eh. Now, ito lang ang sasabihin ko sa inyo. Dito sa negosyo nito, beware of dream stealers. Bakit dream stealers? Maraming kasing tao, pagpasok mo sa negosyo natin sa multi-level marketing, sasabihin sa'yo, huwag ka na mag-networking. Nukohan lang yan. Pero sa totoo lang, marami na tao na pinayaman ng industry ng networking. Siyempre, marami dyan, dream stealers. Bakit? Ayaw nila makita ka na umaangat at umaansenso sa buhay kasi feeling nila na parang napapag-iwanan sila. Learn from your mentors about the techniques on how to build your network. Para mawala mga duda nyo, makinig kayo sa mentor nyo. You learn from your mentor. You learn every single techniques and strategy kung paano ka makapag-build ng malakas na network. Huwag kayo makikinig sa mga tao, hindi expert sa subject ng multi-level marketing. Maraming tao dyan, sasabihin nila na alam nila networking pero sa totoo lang, walang kaalam-alam sila sa negosyo nito. Ang kanan na ba kinita nila? Gano'ng kalaki ng grupo na gawa nila? Sa totoo lang, sinabi nila wala naman silang kinita dyan. Ibig sabihin, they're not successful in the business. Listen to successful people. Listen to your offlines. Listen to your mentors. Huwag kayong makinig sa mga negative dyan ang nagsasabi na alam nilang lahat dyan. Pero sa totoo lang, sa mismong buhay nila, hindi nila maayos-ayos. Okay? Now, dito sa negosyo na to, you have to learn. Hindi ka pwede magkaroon ng duda kasi yung mga tao mo sa mga papasok sa ilalim ng organization mo, they will look up to you. So, yung titingin ng mga tao mo for knowledge. Now, to convince others, you have to convince yourself first. So, paano mo makukonvince sarili mo kung nagdududa ka dyan? Dito sa negosyo na to, kailangan lang konting lakas na loob, maniwala ka. Sabihin nyo sa'yo, you will go very far. You are the asset of your network. Upline do not determine your income. Your downlines are your concern. Kaya dito, si upline, tutulungan ka ni upline, bonus na lang yun. Pero sa totoo lang, yung mag-determine sa income mo dito sa negosyo natin, is yung mga downlines mo. Kaya kailangan mo support yung mga downlines mo and you need to learn all the necessary stuff to make your network grow. You can influence your network positively or negatively. So lead by example. Again, pag nagdududa ka, you won't be able to influence your network positively. Kaya pag kunyan, nagdududa ka, 
yung mga downlines mo din magdududa din. Yung lahat ng tao na kausapin mo, magdududa din sa'yo. How can you convince somebody nga kung ikaw yourself is not even convinced, right? And a tiny seed of doubt can grow enormously. Sabihin ko sa inyo, parang lang yan yung little small drops of blood na contaminated with HIV virus. Imagine mo, ikaw wala kang AIDS, pero imagine mo kung in-inject kita na little ounce of blood na yun sa system, sa blood system mo. Ano ang mangyayari sa buong system mo? Are you gonna be contaminated and have HIV virus as well? Of course. Ganyan din ang duda. Parang virus lang ang duda tsaka yung mga takot-takot na yan. Okay, in this business, we don't need those kind of stuff, okay? Okay, if you're looking into getting a multi-level marketing, remember, take out your doubts. Number three, and why people fail in network marketing. They don't invest time to master all the aspect of the business. Imagine mo, magninegosyo ka. Sabay, wala ka naman alam sa ginagawang manegosyo. At eh, siyempre, kung tanga ka pa naman, talagang sigurado babaksak negosyo mo niyan. Know the industry. Study the people. Alam mo ba sa industry natin, I'm telling you, in the past two decades, ang dami can rate ng millionaires than any other industry in the world. Kaya be proud of our industry. Read books about the industry. I read books about regarding about the industry. I listen to audiobooks and I also uh, read magazine about successful people in this industry. Learn everything about the company. Kung anong company pinasukan nyo at pag-aralan nyo. Siyempre, negosyo nyo yan. So gagawin nyo, papag-aralan nyo yung product mo, kung kailan ba tinayo yung company nyo, pag-aralan nyo lahat, pati sa ultimong compensation plan. Come on, this is your business. We're talking about serious money. Serious money means serious time then. And being serious to getting to know about everything in the business. Train people to learn. Teach them. Turo mo sila kung ano dapat mga basic muna pag-aralan. Katulad, punta ka sa new distributor's orientation, basa sila mga libro, guide them. The more you know about this industry at kung anong dapat pag-aralan, the more you can train your people under you to do the same thing. Eh, yung nga mahirap eh, paano nga lalaki ang network mo kung ikaw din mismo, hindi mo nga din alam kung paano mag-present or hindi mo alam kung ano yung mga products nyo. Eh, syempre talaga hindi ka, hindi ka makakabenta at hindi lalaki ang negosyo mo at hindi ka kikita po ganun. Become a better person. Of course, everyone needs to become a better person. Who wants to be with a person na hindi naman masaya kasama? Eh, syempre, lahat ng tao, kung sila nakasama, yung mga tao na masaya. Diba? Pag ito, you spend time in learning all the aspect of your business. You can impact somebody's life. Kaya dapat lahat ng magiging experience mo at lahat ng magiging maganda na pinag-aralan mo sa negosyo nito, i-impart mo yan sa mga tao, sa mga downlines mo. Tuturuan mo yung lahat ng alam mo. Huwag kayong maging madamot kasi sa negosyo na to, pag madamot kayo, babaksak kayo sa negosyo na to. Maraming negative dyan na hindi kumita sa negosyo na to. Pero tanong mo sa kanila, how much time they put in the business? So totoo lang, sasabihin nila, they only put like one hour a week or sometimes they only come to the office mga once a month. Talaga hindi lalaki negosyo mo dyan. May sasabihin, maging poloso po, eh ako nga, araw-araw nga nandyan. Ito lang sasabihin ko sa'yo, practice makes perfect, true or not true. Sa mga tao na sabi true, you guys are wrong. Practice makes permanence. Meaning, whatever you practice, that's what you will master. So if you practice the wrong things, you just now mastered in doing the wrong things. Now just to get to my point, siyempre, practice makes permanence. If you do the business with the wrong formula, whatever hard work you do, you would not become successful. Because success has a formula. So get the right formula, learn the right stuff, and practice them and then it will become permanent then you will become an expert in this business and then you'll see you will see the wealth and the development na mangyayari sa experience mo sa multi-level marketing number four they think it's a get rich quick scheme think like a farmer alam mo yung mga farmers what they do is they sow the seed they cherish it, they nourish it. Inaalaga nila yan day by day hanggang talagang nakikita nila tumutubo na sa lupa. At hindi lang yun, inaalagaan pa rin nila yun hanggang it's right to harvest. Networking is like being a farmer. It's not a get-rich-quick scheme. Kaya maraming tao nag-iisip, ay, papasok ako sa networking sabay biglang. In one week, two weeks, kukuha na ang kotse. Pag hindi na nakuha ang kotse nila, quack, quack, of course disappointed sila 
at parang negative na naisip nila. Be willing to pay the price. You need to sacrifice. You need to get out of your comfort zone. Alam mo sa totoo lang, let me tell you something about comfort zone. Comfort zone is actually a danger zone. You will have no improvement. Walang development nangyayari pag nasa comfort zone ka. You need to spend time with your leaders. You need to take care of them. Ima mindset mo sila. Aalagaan mo kung anong napapasok sa utak nila at tutulungan mo sila, tuturoan mo sila kung, kung paano maging positive thinker at how to become a leader. It takes time to nurture leaders. The whole process takes time. Sabihin ko sa'yo, parang yung nagpasok ka sa networking, parang ka lang naging mangsasakay. Pero instead of planting seed, you are planting leaders. Number five, they have no focus. Parang nang sa pag nag-aaral tayo or nag-college. Kung wala kang focus, mangyayari sa'yo dyan. Maapektuhan ang grades mo. Here in networking, dito you have to stay focused. One company presentation or activity. Huwag masyadong multitasking. Hindi pwede mangyayari sa'yo na katulad ng pag networking ka na isang company sabay may ibang products ka naman, sabay may isang products ka naman. One at a time, kailangan mag-focus ka. Yung ibang tao, hindi nagpo-focus sa prospecting. Importante ang prospecting. There's an arts of prospecting to get new leads, to get new people. One simple tip na ibibigay ko sa inyo, smile. Look at a person, pag may tumingin sa'yo, bumiti ka lang. There's more many different techniques and strategies on how to uh, prospect and get a lot of leads. Wala silang focus sa training. Alam mo ba, training is the most important thing? Imagine mo, si Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao would train for 6 months para sa laban niya na wala pang umaabot ng isang oras. You have to focus on developing leaders. Hindi lang puro develop ang sarili mo. Whatever you learn, you have to teach your leaders. Developing leaders is also goes hand-in-hand in hand with mentoring. Kalangan you have to be with them. You have to surround yourself with knowledge so you could train your people. Mag-focus kayo sa mental mindset ng financial freedom. Why are you guys doing this for? Siyempre, gusto nyo magkaroon ng financial freedom eh. Gusto nyo magkaroon ng kotse, ng bahay. You wanna retire young and rich. Alam ko naman sa mga tao na pumapasok sa networking, wala naman linya-linya to eh. Wala naman born networker eh. Pero ito lang eh. Kaya mga tao pumapasok sa industry natin is para they could really taste the fullness of life. And that's time freedom and financial freedom. Mag-focus ka sa dream mo. Lahat ng pangarap mo, panigarado makukuha niyo dito. It all lays out in the compensation plan, the maximum earnings that you could earn, the potential earnings and possibilities talaga. Nandiyan na lahat. Focus on building your network. Parang lang yan, parang sa sinabi ko kanina eh. You have to be willing to take sacrifices. Alam ko gusto mo manood ng movie. Gusto mo, na, gusto mo manood ng Eat Bulaga or mga telenovela. Sacrifice that for now. Kasi in the end, you will benefit and reap even bigger stuff. Focus on selling your product. Ito isa pang pinaka-aspect sa networking. Kaya maraming tao bumabagsak sa networking. Alam bakit? Kasi ganito lang yan eh. 90% networking sila sabay 10% retailing. Hindi po pwede yun. Dito sa negosyo natin is product movement. Here in our industry is 50% networking and 50% direct selling. Hindi ka lang pwede aasa sa network lang. Kasi in selling, if you know how to sell your product, it could actually generate you a lot of income. Kaya learn how to sell the product. Know your product. Mag-focus ka din sa personal development. Alam mo ba dito sa personal development? All of the books that I have read, 12 years na experience ko dito sa negosyo nito and I have learned so much. Here are my personal recommendations sa mga books na basahin nyo. Number 6, they do not know how to present the business. Alam mo, this is the most funny part. Ang daming tao nag expect kumita sa negosyo nito at umaasa lang sa presentation sa office, sa uplines nila. Dito, if you don't know how to present your own business, mangyayari sa inyo, babagsak talaga kayo. It is crucial, you have to know how to present the business on your own. Yung mga top earners, alam nila kung paano kumita. Alam nila yung compensation plan ng negosyo natin. Yung mga top earners sa industry nito, alam nila kung paano mag-present ng business nila. If you know how to present, 
the marketing plan or the business plan. Pwede mo dalhin yung negosyo mo kahit saan. Hindi ka lang reliant sa uplines mo or hindi ka reliant sa office para idala mo mga tao mo. Pag alam mo paano mag-present ng sarili mo negosyo, pwede ka mag-expand ng business mo at your own pace. Pinakamabuti pa nun, pag alam mo na paano mag-present ng compensation plan, pwede ka na magturo sa mga partners mo kung paano nila ipapresent ang negosyo din nila. Kausapin mo yung kaibigan mo, ito yung negosyo na ito, nayayaman ka, ito magpapayaman sa'yo. Tapos itanong sa'yo, eh paano ba yan? Ikaw mismo, hindi mo runong mo mag-present. Sa tingin mo, sasali pa yun kung ikaw mismo, hindi mo alam kung paano i-present yung sarili mo company. Yung sinasabi ko lang dito, while you are still new in the business, you could still rely on your upline, rely on the office para sa business presentation. Pero to make you go to the next level, at para kumita kayo ng malaki, at para maging top earner, or future top earners in the future, you have to know how to present your business. Number seven, they don't look at the future. Ito lang masasabi ko sa inyo. If you don't look at the future, at you don't see yourself in the future, kung ano magkakaroon ka, mahihirapan ka sa buhay mo. Sa alam mo bakit? Ito lang yan kasi. If you only see today, gusto mo lang maging tama lang ang buhay mo, gusto mo simple lang, araw-araw, makakain lang, and if you don't see the future, you will set yourself up for disaster. Focus on how your organization will look like in a year from now. Deal with the problems today because what you do today will build your future. Alam mo sa lahat ng choices na gagawin mo dito sa present time, kung hindi mo aayusin ang buhay mo ngayon, magiging reflection yan sa magiging buhay mo in the future. So it's very important to not just look at today, but you also have to look at towards the future. How much can you get if you do this continuously? Do all the stuff you need to learn. Lahat ng kalaman mo pag-aralan, gawin mo continuously yan. Look into the future. Sigurado yan. It's like what I always love to say. The formula in success is simply having a consistent successful day. If you have a consistent successful day, kahit maliit na success lang yan, pero everyday naman, in a year, that's 365 successful days. So mangyayari sa'yo dyan you will end up becoming successful regardless. Number eight, they don't have a vision. All the stuff that we see now, computers, cars, cell phones, houses, airplanes, uh, building structures, lahat ng high-tech gadgets and technology, those stuff will never be created kung walang vision ang mga tao. Now, ito lang masasabi ko sa inyo. If you don't have your vision, and if you don't know your why, kung bakit mo gagawin mo ang negosyo nito, babaksak ka sa negosyo nito. Kasi maraming tao dito, ginagawa negosyo nito kasi nakita lang ng kaibigan nila, kumikita ng pera, kaya sinusubukan lang nila. Without vision, you will perish. Everything starts with a vision. Parang nga sinabi ko sa inyo eh, all the stuff that we see now was a person's vision 10 years, 20 years, or 30 years ago. Now, let me tell you a story. It's called the Brick Layer Story. This is a story that well summarizes the power of vision. It's a story of three brick layers. The story goes that the three brick layers were working side by side. Isang araw, may isang tao naglalakad. May nakita, may ginagawa na parang building or structure. Tinanong niya sa unang brick layer, What are you doing? Sinabi ng unang brick layer, I'm laying bricks. Tinanong niya sa second brick layer, Sinabi niya, What are you doing? Sinabi ng isa, feeding my family. Now, yung third brick layer, tinanong niya, anong ginagawa mo? Sagot naman ng third, sinabi niya is, I'm building a cathedral. Now, the question is, are you trying to reach your goals in your business with brick layers or cathedral building? Now, a vision is really like a magnet. It draws people towards it. The vision takes them from the past and commits them to the future. Yung mga vision natin is our internal compass. Working on your business, not just in your business. Vision without action is merely a dream. Action without vision just passes the time. Vision with action can change the world. May vision ba kayo? If you don't have a vision, how will you get what you want? Anong target mo? Anong gusto mo magkaroon? Everything is being perceived in the mind. People don't follow people because you're smart. People don't follow people because you're rich. People follows people that is excited about something and that has a vision and that is running for something. Yeah, all of us in this industry, lahat ng mga new bloods, meaning mga new people in this industry and all the expert networkers in this 
industry. We all have to become great visionaries and missionaries. Again, I would like to thank you guys all for watching this audio visual presentation of this Lions Leadership Program. And there is more videos coming soon. And this is my contribution to our industry so that we could create an organized network all over the Philippines. Thank you, God bless, and may all of you guys have a wonderful day. Again, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you all, and happy networking.